Hello, my name is Keila Wigglesworth, and I'm here to teach you about the Paddy Recreational Dive Tables. The Paddy Recreational Dive Tables are taught in um, beginning uh, dive classes. You're tested on them, and you will use them anytime you're diving. Um, these days, a lot of people have cool dive watches and different technology to plan their dives with, but it's good to know these tables because technology is not always foolproof. So you have to learn these to pass your dive classes, but you also need to be comfortable with them for any of those um, situations. So um, today I'm going to help you plan three dives. Um, I'm going to teach you how to use this table. You get these tables when you sign up for courses um, for diving, and they come in like waterproof things you can keep in your BCD. Anytime you're traveling, they're really good and handy to have on you. Um, so the first thing you need to look at is how, what your depth is. So these are up here. The second thing you need to look at is how long you're diving for, which are these numbers along this line. The third thing you need to know is that you have a dive interval, so if you're planning multiple dives, your surface time, you need to record that to help you um, find the fourth part of this, which is your uh, pressure group. So if you're planning multiple dives, when you're diving, you know, anytime you're in the water, you're building up nitrogen in your body, and your residual nitrogen after a dive needs to be incorporated into your next dives for, throughout the day. If you're not careful, you know, people can get sick, people can get hurt, diving, safety first, so you need to account for that. Today I'm going to help you plan three dives using the table, accounting for residual nitrogen, and hopefully after this video you'll feel a little bit more comfortable using the table. Um, so our first dive of the day, let's say we want to dive to 50 feet, and we want to stay down for 60 minutes. So our first pressure group will be pressure group S. So you, normally when you're planning them you use this little model right here, it's pretty helpful. You, you're standing up here, you dive down to 50 feet, and you stay down for 60 minutes. And when you come up to the surface, pressure group S. Now that we're at the surface, we're going to hang out for a little while. Let's say we hang out for an hour. You go over to the time, you go down, and you find your new pressure group after that hour, which is pressure group G. So we're at the top for one hour, and our new pressure group after that hour is pressure group G. So for our next dive, you have to account for whatever depth you're going the new pressure group. So if we're going to go to 50 feet again, we first need to find our residual nitrogen. So 50 feet at pressure group G is 26 minutes residual nitrogen. Let's say our actual time that we want to spend down is 40 minutes. So the total time that you need to account for is going to be 66 minutes residual nitrogen. Even though you're only at the bottom for 40 minutes, you have to account for the residual nitrogen. So our new pressure group, looking at these two numbers, 50 feet for 66 minutes is new pressure group U. So we go to U, let's say we're hanging out at the top again for another hour. Our new pressure group after that hour is pressure group H. One hour pressure group H. So if we're going to dive down to 50 feet for the third time, we have to look at our residual nitrogen first. 50 feet at pressure group H puts us at a residual nitrogen of 28. Let's say the actual time we want to spin down is 30 minutes. The total time will be 58 minutes residual nitrogen. So when we come up to the surface after that time, Our final pressure group will be pressure group S. So if you want to continue diving for the day, you just keep using this method, and it's really helpful to plan your dives out beforehand so you don't have to sit here and draw on a board or something. <laughs> um, you just got to be safe with your dive planning, and you need to make sure that you're accounting for this properly because people can get hurt, and safety is the most important thing with diving. Thank you for watching.